Yay! What's up, what's up, Grumpy Nation? I am back. Uh, today I have something a little different. In my last video I had asked you guys if you were okay with me doing some other stuff besides pops. Uh, so today I do have something different. Um, but this is kind of on the pop realm. Um, it is a minifigure uh, and it is awesome. And I just wanted to show you guys this. Um, now these are mini Iron Man light up figures. Um, now if you look at the back, it says Tideway HK, which is Hong Kong, okay? So these are going to be based off of the uh, Kids Logic Pluggy series. Now they are super, super expensive. So me being the cheap person that I am, I wanted to see what you could get from China that was similar. Um, these are definitely based on uh, the, that version of these things, but these are a, a, they are not the same, um, but they are very close. So. These look really cool, and I'm super excited about this, so I want to show you guys. So I actually got a set of six, um, and they are based off of the War Machine uh, the War Machine armors. So let's just dig into it. Now, I already opened these, so the boxes are all jacked inside, and I took the plastic off, but I just wanted to make sure that they all worked for the video. So I don't know which one's which. I just shoved them back in the boxes. So we're just going to go in random order here. And... Uh, as you can see, the box is already bent up and beat up a little bit, but that's because they came that way and because I opened them up. So each figure comes with a little base, and the cool thing about this is that the base actually, they all connect to each other. Um, so here's the little base. It's got a little little design on there. It's just a little piece of plastic, but if you can see, it's like a puzzle. Uh, so all six actually go in a row, and all the Iron Men or War Machines stand together. Right, so the first one is, it looks to be the War Machine Mark II. So he doesn't have any guns. Um, now this one actually, its head is a little bit, I almost want to say broken, it's loose, and they're not supposed to move like that. Um, they have no articulation in these guys, they're just kind of like for a desk or something like that. But the cool thing about these, and I checked them all and they all light up, you hit a little switch on the back of their head there, and there it is, lit up, which is super awesome. So that is awesome. I really like these. I mean, the paint on these guys is not amazing, okay? These are a very cheap uh, rendition of a, of a high-end kind of kind of thing. So, but to be honest, for what I paid for it, and it was not much at all, uh, the build quality is really solid on these guys, and the paint job is not bad. I mean, if you look at it, there's a little bit of, you know, crummy stuff, and I want to say these are vinyl, maybe plastic, um, but, you know, for what they are, they're really cool, and the, the light-up feature is just amazing to me. I really love that. And not all of them have the white lights. You'll see. Uh, very cool. So that is the War Machine Mark II armor. Alright, let's see what we got next. So this one... Ooh, now this is awesome. Alright, so I will show you. I mean, for what they are, like I said, the boxes are amazing. They've got some really cool art on them. Um, and then on the side here, they've got all of the marks uh, for the War Machine. So very cool little box, individual boxes. I really, these things are great. And like I said, I got them for very cheap. So uh, this next one is actually uh, the regular War Machine. So this is after Rhodey took it and got it modified. So this is the War Machine. And like I said, he's got a gun here. Um, you know, no articulation, but really cool, man. I mean, the gun actually does move a little bit, but... Uh, very cool detail, painted up, this one is painted fantastic, I mean perfect, perfect paint job. So very cool looking for the regular War Machine and as you can see, his lights are red, um, which is awesome. So I really like that, very cool little War Machine. Alright, so as I'm opening these, I'm putting them on their little stands and I'm connecting them. So at the end, you should be able to tell what it all looks like. Alright, now this one is going to be the Mark Four. This is the secret project Mark IV. Um, the paint on this guy is not awesome, um, but it's, I mean, there's a little scuff on his chin here. So there's a little scuff on his chin. The paint's not the best uh, compared to the other ones, but the, the paint uh, color, like the, the hues of the paint is actually really cool. It's like a bluish gray on gray. Um, very cool, and again, as you can see, so their heads are, uh, some of their heads do articulate. They move side to side which is pretty cool. Um, not all of them though, so I don't really get that, but anyways, and as you can see, again, he lights up. So there is the uh, 
the, the Mark IV Secret Project is what it's called, the Secret Project. So there is that one. Very cool. So this one probably out of all of them has the worst paint job. Uh, it is really not awesome. I mean, it's not horrible. It's horrible. The paint's really bad on this one. The Iron Patriot is probably my least favorite War Machine armor anyway, so I don't really care too much about about this one. But yeah, the paint job is, is definitely not good. And on him, you can see his head's kind of rickety as well. But he should light up. He does. He does indeed light up. Now I gotta say, for these little tiny guys, this little LED light up feature is really cool, man. I mean, again, uh, the original versions of these, the ones that these are, are made after, I should say, are actually pretty expensive, but this, these ones were very cheap. I think I got the whole set for under $40, so that is amazing for what these are, and they're just going to be on my desk, so it's not that big a deal, but for what these are and what I paid, I'm super excited. Now these are supposed to be cell phone pluggies, so I guess you're supposed to, to hang these off your cell phone. Only thing is they didn't come with pluggies, so they are just little mini figures, and I like them. They have like a bigger head, kind of like Funko Pops. Um, but definitely cute. They're like the in-between, you know, I mean, if you look at it, they're about the same size as a, as a mini. Um, but minis cannot do that. So that is very cool. I really, I really like these. Two more to go. So it looks like I still need the uh, War Machine exclusive version Mark III and the War Machine special version. Anyways, now this is badass. This is badass. This is the War Machine special version. Uh, this is more of a black and white, not so much black and gray, uh, black and white. This is awesome. This is my favorite one so far. This dude is sick. He's got his little, uh, his gun with his bullets there on the back. The paint job is freaking awesome on here. On the top you can see there's those little triangles. So very, very cool, great paint job on this guy and it's like the, the white on black just really looks great. And, ooh, and he's got the red lights. So I think this one and the other one are the only one that have the red lights, but very, very cool. I love this one. This one's awesome. Exclusive version of the Mark III. So he's supposed to be like chrome maybe, but it, I don't think so. I guess it's like a, the gunmetal kind of gray, just the real flat gray. Um, it's cool looking. The lights again look really cool, but this is probably my least favorite. It's pretty basic. It's like a stripped down version. It's like the very first maybe prototype of War Machine. So. Uh, there's some paint scuffs on it and stuff like that. Nothing too terrible, but that is the final Iron Man. So again, these are really awesome. I mean, honestly, this makes me want to get the real versions of these, but on the same hand, this is going to be something that I'm just going to have either on my shelf or on my desk. Um, I don't want to say these are knockoffs. So these are inspired by the Kids Logic pluggies. Um, but these were very awesome, and like I said, uh, worth every penny to me. Under 40 bucks is what I paid for all six of them. And now they do have um, the Iron Man ones as well. A bunch of the Iron Man ones. But all the Iron Man ones kind of look the same. And now I'm looking at these War Machines and these all kind of look the same too. And it looks like clicking these bases together um, actually will make a full circle. So if I did pick up a couple extra Iron Man, it looks like I got two or three spots left in the circle. So I think this is going to be a great addition to my uh, Iron Man collection. So that was my quick review of my little War Machine uh, minifigures slash pluggies from Tideway HK, which is uh, a company in Hong Kong. Um, for what they are, I'm very satisfied. Uh, I didn't pay much at all for them, and they look really cool, and the fact that they light up is just amazing to me. So uh, I'm definitely going to put these on display in my room somewhere. Probably not going to connect them all because it makes almost a circle, and it's just going to be hard to put somewhere. Um, but very cool nonetheless. So that is my review. Thank you guys so much for checking me out. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff coming soon. Uh, I got a special guest or two uh, coming soon. I've got some mystery minis coming. Uh, I've got like 20 pops to review for you guys. I've got some more Iron Man stuff that is not Funko related. Um, I've got a ton of P.O. Box pickups that I'm so excited to show you guys. It's so awesome and I can't believe that you guys sent me that stuff. Grumpy Nation, you guys let me know what you think. If I should do keep my, my normal once a week video thing or if I should try to upload some more. Uh, I've got plenty of stuff to review, so I'm going to definitely try to do two a week soon as I can. Uh, but thank you guys again so much for watching. Love you, Grumpy Nation. Take it easy.